I think that people clearly crossed the line, uh, violated American law, you know, imminent threats of death, uh, threatening to kill families, mock executions uh, are a violation of the law. And, you know, this is not to mention a whole series of other acts that occurred since this, um, September 11th. So, I mean, it's a good idea to get this stuff out. I mean, you, you know, this, this slow drip drip of information about the CIA, I think it's more damaging than getting it out all at once. Having a special prosecutor look at it, uh, prosecuting those who, who broke the law, and and you know we, we just need a, we need a cleansing of some sort of all of this stuff. And I think this is we're on our way. All crimes are committed in the past, you know, and you just can't say let's move on. You you really can't because we have to go out internationally, and we have public diplomacy of supporting human rights. Um, we we work against oppressive regimes, and we can't very well cover up our own wrongdoing, say move on and go to a country like Liberia or Kenya and ask them to investigate human rights abuses and we don't ourselves. You, you just can't do that. Um, so we, we, have to, we have to take a look at this, unfortunately. The CIA traditionally has not done interrogations. The CIA traditionally has not used coercion to gain information. It, just go, it goes out and recruits informants or sources or whatever you want to call them. And, and that's where it gets information, not interrogations, either hostile or ones under the rule of law. So no, it's not, a, it's, I think it's a good idea because this entire interrogation program has been a distraction for the CIA. There was a certain amount of political expediency after 9-11 and that's why we did it. Uh, and now it's time to let somebody else do it. It's either got to be the military or the FBI, but not the CIA.